So to sum it all up, we are not needy. I t I, talking to non-Jews, I say, get up off your knees already. Stop begging God. You're not always in trouble. Learn to smile once in a while. We're not needy. We are necessary. And that is so much better. In fact, being necessary is so much better than being loved. It really is. Someone loves you. What does that mean? That you're a good person? No. Or that they're a good person? <laughs> also no. Also. No. Right. The worst kids in the world, their mothers love them. So, what does love do for you? It's the feeling of being wanted, but it's by another person. Not just wanted. Needed. Imagine parents saying to their kids, you know, we never needed you. We don't need you, but you're so cute. We love you. So, no, no. That's good for a pet. You say that to your gerbil. Don't say that to me. I'm not necessary, but you love me? <laughs> I'm your entertainment? Love is not an answer to anything. It's just enjoyable. It's like chocolate. You say, you know, we don't need you, but we'll give you chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> no, seriously. We don't need to be loved. We like to be loved. We don't need. What do we need? To know where we're needed. That's what a human being is. So who needs you? The creator of the world obviously needs something. If I didn't create the world, I don't need it. So it's only God needs you. Yeah. Well, that manifests through people. Yeah. So you have to feel loved by God, basically. Needed. Are and we, that can manifest. No, no, really, really. Are we necessary to him? Every rabbi in the world will tell you no. Every rabbi in the world will tell you he doesn't need you. And I've been arguing and arguing. Now, what, take a look at what happened to the people in Israel who were massacred. And tell me God didn't need them. Say it. I dare you. So somebody comes over and says, why would God let that happen? So why not? He doesn't need them. <gasps> How could you say that? You've been saying that your whole life. You're saying God doesn't need anything. So why are you asking? Why he yeah, he lets people get killed because he doesn't need them. Now they're horrified by the thought. Take a look at the pictures of the kids who got killed and tell me God does not need them. But that you can argue. But now, I dare anyone to look at those people and say, yeah, God doesn't need them. It's so perverse. Clearly, he just wanted them a little closer. Huh? Clearly, he just wanted them a little bit closer. Okay, Can't find a nicer way? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, come by and visit. Take three buses, a taxi, and a train. How about send me an Uber? <laughs> anyway, what is going to happen? In a very short time, the world is going to become so much better than it ever was. That's what's going to happen. The question is only, how long will it take? And how many bad people do we have to get rid of in the process? but it's going to become a much better world. Without a doubt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's do this again sometime. Yeah, definitely. Especially during school hours. <laughs>